Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and it's Christmas time and Pokemon Unite seems to come multiple times a year when there are a ton of leaks and a ton of new information hitting the game. What we're taking a look at right now, of course, is Blaziken. You know this if you are here, There's this is Torchic. Heading into the path right here, it's got a bit of a dash move. It looks like it has a gauge on your opponents that you build up after you hit them. Very similar to Cinderace, it looks like, with that. Hit them multiple times, fill up the gauge. It's got natural critical hit. And I assume you do extra damage after you fill that gauge, right? Dash in the... Oh, you're marking them with this. Is that what's happening? So it's not... Oh, no, it's a natural gauge that fills up. It's not just a mark. It's just that any damage starts filling up this, this gauge. So it's very similar to Cinder. Moving in, doing some damage right here. Where's its boosted attack? Am I, see am I not seeing a boosted? Maybe it doesn't have his boosted gauge on, too. Big crits. Dashing in. And he's got, looks like Ember possibly, as a move. All right, he evolves. We got our first evolution here. A nice jump kick. Dashing into his opponents right here. Actually, while this is happening, I think I have a list of what some of these moves are. Let me take a look here really quick. I might have the list of moves. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm dumb. We have Aerial Ace, Fire Punch, Overheat, Ember, Focus Blast, and Blaze Kick. So that might be Blaze Kick that we have right there. The first one uh, that we're also seeing uh, is Aerial Ace for his first move. We're level six now. We evolved into Combuskin. At five. And seven, we evolve into Blaziken. Ooh, wow, you charge that up. It's a big area damage that you charge up right there. That's pretty sweet. That might be, I'm guessing, Overheat? Maybe that's Focus Blast? Overheat? I assume Focus Blast is the one that looks like a, the Lucario move, right? From Smash? Something like that. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Let's see. Ooh, you can't move it, but you probably could move it with an eject button. That jump kick is really nice. The way that you're able to move your opponents around like that. Big time critical hits, too. Okay, so here's its Unite move. And using its Unite move, you have switched your move set. And you've now switched it back. And I was kind of hearing rumblings of this. There are characters like this in other MOBAs where their Unite move essentially is not exactly uh, a Unite move or their ult is not exactly an ult. It's to switch styles. So you have two styles of fighting and you switch between them right here. And I think that's what we're seeing. Yeah, definitely, right? Because that looks clearly to be Focus Blast and Fire Punch. So they're on sort of a set. I wonder if you can choose. I'm gonna go back in this video really quick just to make sure I didn't miss this. Because I'm just wondering if you happen to choose these moves and you can decide your set at some point. Sorry to take everybody back, but I just wanna be clear about this. Level five, no, you only have one choice. Okay, so you don't get to choose. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure that was the case. You do not get to choose your moves. Once you get your Unite move, that is the only time you can switch your moves. Great to know. Great to know. Dang, Fire Punch looks awesome. Holy. I wonder how this Unite move is going to work with things like, obviously it's gonna work similar to Dragapult in some ways with, you know, an energy amp and stuff like that. Dang, that scoring animation's good. Inteleon's is good, too. They're, they're nailing these scoring animations. Fire Punch looks great. You change, you kind of do this flip, you change, then you use your moves. They're on cooldown, and then you switch to your other moves. They are not on cooldown, so they have different cooldown timers. Very similar uh, to a character, I feel like, from Smite called Uller. There's also a character called Hell in Smite. That's another MOBA um, that has uh, essentially a function like this where they switch to a, their other move set. It's on a completely different cooldown setup. Nice. Yeah. 
You use it, you engage with the Unite, right? Because it does damage, so you can engage with it. You can actually use your moves, engage with your Unite. Gosh, this is going to be insane. Holy. I'm just thinking about, like... Ah. Uh, <laughs> there's no way. How? How are they ever... This is going to be one of the hardest Pokemon to balance, man. This is like... How do you balance a Pokemon that has four moves on, on available to itself at all times, essentially? Like, what was its Unite move on? Like a 10-second cooldown? Let me go back. Use your Unite... Five-second cooldown on your Unite move? Your moves are always up. Your moves are always up. By the way, this is like a Razor Claw's dream right now. Your moves are constantly up in this situation. Like, how, when are they ever down? Your Unite move deals damage. It's essentially just a fifth move. You have five moves all the time. Dang. This is so good. I. This is so good. It's hard to know exactly what each of the moves are doing necessarily. Like, you can see they're doing damage. There's a dash to it. You can see this move does damage at range. But we don't know, you know, you don't know the details of like, oh, this one increases your crit by 30% and stuff like that. I'm interested to see exactly how the mark works, if it's just like Cinderace or something like that. I can't tell exactly. You can tell that you are marking them and doing more damage to them because of that. Or something like that, I guess. You're marking them and that's giving you a combat advantage. I'm just not exactly sure what that combat advantage is. It's possible that it's giving you... Like, increased critical hits as you're continuing to hit them. Because it feels like you're doing a lot of critical hits with this Pokemon, but it is a brawler. So it's also reasonable to assume that you're running critical hit items, or it has just a lot of natural critical hit in general. But it does feel like the critical hits get more often or bigger near the end of your burst there. Great score animation. Big time eject. We're now going to watch Blaziken take down Dreadnaw. Ah, Dreadnaw, we miss you, buddy. I mean, some of our solo queue allies don't. Or maybe it's just a pop of damage like Cinder? Is that all it is? Just an extra bit of damage? It could be. It really could be very similar to Cinderace's burn. It just, like, does more damage once you finally hit them with the combo here. 2,600 damage. Okay. Okay, I mean, a non-crit uh, move like that, dealing 2,600 damage, okay. This thing does not have any attack weight stacks or anything on it right now either. So, obviously we, we won't know what state it's going to be released at, right? But, man. This thing's going to be nuts. This is going to be so good. Get ready for all of your the Zacians to, to be grabbing this. <laughs> this is like, you, if you're worried about them nerfing Zacian, worry no more. Because what's going to happen is they're just simply going to start playing Blaziken. Even if it's not as good. It just looks, it's just so fun. Like the play style of this looks so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm so, I'm so here for this Pokemon. It, every single basic attack it's doing by the, in that moment is doing an extra burst of damage. One of them is based on special attack. I don't know if you saw that. Like, one of them did an extra pop of special attack damage. I have no idea why. Maybe it's just part of the... near the end of the combo or something like that. It does, like, special attack damage. It's based on special attack. The point of that being just to go to against a different defense. Let's see. I didn't see it there. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. Maybe he's running choice specs. Could you imagine? Um, never let El Chico Eevee try to secure Ray for your team. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we were looking at right there, Eevee. I love you, but what, what were we doing? Get in the pit! Okay? I'm not trying to be Kid Rock and hit you with some Bob with the paw, but get in the pit and try to love someone, buddy. Secure Ray. Alright, let me... 
He's scoring right now. I want to go back to see this move. I thought I saw a bit of special attack pop off here, but I, I must have just been seeing, just seeing something. I must have just been seeing something. There was a moment where I thought he hit someone and I saw special attack, like I saw purple numbers, essentially. But it had to just be in my mind, right? Because that's all red. I think I'm, I think I'm just going crazy. That's it, I was just going crazy in that moment. It has to be, because I'm not seeing it again. It was up here somewhere. I'm just gonna check this. I'm sorry if you're just hanging out for me to check something that clearly doesn't exist. No, right there. What was that? Or was that damage he was receiving? Oh, I'm just such an idiot. Okay, just damage he is receiving. That's all it was. All right, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't seeing something weird with one of its moves right there that it was very confusing to me. Awesome. Blaziken. Holy. I mean, this looks so good. I, I want to hear from you in the comments what you're most excited about with this, but this is just, like, I feel like so many people, this is like their dream style of play for a Pokemon. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yeehaw to you and yours. I love you. I'll see y'all very soon. Mm -hmm. We did it.